Hey, what's up, Michigan? Welcome back inside the State Champs Sports Network studio for another update in our State Champs Amble Award presented by Hungry Howie's. My name is Lauren Plant. This is Ron Talley, and we have been talking the best linemen in the state each and every week, and we're going to talk another today. The gentleman we want to get into this afternoon is Bobby Kanka. Now, Bobby Kanka is a player from Howell High School. This is a guy who last year was injured, only got in about six games, still did tremendously. If he would have been available all season long, could have been a finalist in our Amal Award last year. This year, he's in the mix and he's playing well. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Like you said, this guy last year, five and a half games, eight sacks. I mean, what a playmaker. I mean, you figure this guy gets hot and then next thing you know, you know, he's just a highlight reel waiting to happen. He plays well in the run game. He's 6'5", 270. Uh, lean guy, long arms, committed to Michigan. Here's what this means to me. Here's a guy that didn't get a chance to really play as much as he wanted to and is probably really eating at him right now. But man, is he balling out in the first three weeks. That means that this guy has the measurements to go as far as he needs to go in his own development. Long arms stuff in the run, great with hands. You know, he's on and he's off. He's wax on, wax off, that kind of guy. And is always near the ball. When you watch this team play, if you just push play on the film, you'll see Bobby Kanka making plays all over the place. In the backfield, his side of the ball, run, screen, he runs it down and he doesn't miss a tackle. This guy's a serious hitter. Yeah, look at his highlights against Canton. He actually had an interception right at the line of scrimmage. Got great hands and again, uh, finishes everything. You know, it's in his blood as well. His father, Tom Kanka, was an NAIA All-American uh, at Hillsdale College. Actually got a chance to play for the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Detroit Lions. So he's a Hall of Famer for Hillsdale. And now Bobby has his little brother who is now a freshman on the Howell football team getting a chance to play together. And you know when things are coming together like that, his father also an assistant coach on this team, you can talk about the fact that he knows this is his last hurrah. This is his opportunity to shine and this is an opportunity to make a real big impression on his future team, the Wolverines. Absolutely, absolutely. This guy is a playmaker and it makes sense that it's in his blood. This is the kind of guy here, what you see on the field, is somebody that has a knack for the ball. Great hands, great eyes, you know, long arms, can swipe you, can chop arm over, can get to the ball. And you can just tell that he's disciplined, he's patient, he plays with his eyes. He's one of those guys that you want to see uh, in the next level, you know, and throughout the season. And he's also a guy, I'm certain, because you can tell his work ethic on the field. Yeah. I'm certain that he wants some more. If, if he had one leg that he had to put a whole cast on, he's playing this year. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and I'll tell you what, Howell is a team to look out for. So if you got him on your schedule, be careful, especially when you see that defensive line come up and Bobby Kanka uh, is anchoring that. All right, one thing that is a little disappointing. How come, in the fact, if you go to statechampsnetwork.com and you click on the Anvil Award, how come Bobby Kanka has zero votes coming into this week? That is ridiculous. What is Howell, Michigan doing? Highlanders, come together. Vote for your guy. Do it now. Go to statechampsnetwork.com. Click on SC Awards. Click on Amble Award and vote for your guy as often as you can. Like they are doing at Wald Lake Western for Liam Vaughn. 5,000 votes wow. within the first four weeks. They know it. And you know what? That means he's, if he wins, the popular vote automatically guaranteed into the Final Four. May have an opportunity to win the whole thing because you get a slight advantage that way. So do what you can, community. Get out there and vote for your guy. StateChampsNetwork.com.